Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Wyburn and as it's anti-bullying week I'm going to share with you a little bit of my story. I was probably bullied the most from the age of 13 up to about 16, 17, so mostly comprehensive school and I was bullied for several reasons. Um, I was bullied because I have red hair, I'm a ginger. Um, I was bullied because I enjoyed school. Um, I was quite academic and usually got quite good grades, I was bullied for that. Um, I've been 5 foot 11 since I was about 14, so I was, I guess it was another thing to be noticed for, I stood out because I was so tall. Um, and I was bullied because people thought I was gay. I didn't even know myself at the time, so it was a really confusing um, emotional time for me without being called names for it. Um, and yeah, it, it got quite tough. The types of bullying I was subject to were quite often name calling. Um, so I had the obvious of lanky, um, nerd, swat, geek, um, all the ginger jokes you could possibly think of, um, and quite a lot of homophobic abuse as well. Um, but then there were often times where I was physically abused as well, and I can always remember. Um, go into the chip shop at lunchtime and there'd be a group of lads that would um, just sort of throw chips at me and call me names at the same time and um, I can always remember it sticks in my mind there was uh, I did phys physical education for GTSE and I was never really the rugby and football type so I was more of a 100 meter sprinter um, the fastest in my year actually and a basketball player. I used to love playing basketball so much and I can remember one time it was a really horrible rainy day and so there were huge puddles all over the basketball court and there was this one guy that used to torment me quite a lot and for some reason every time he had the ball in his hands he'd either throw it directly at me um, or he'd throw it at the puddle next to me to get me soaking wet and I can remember that one day it was it was quite intense and he followed me then back in back into the changing rooms and started to get really abusive and he had me up against the wall. Um, his hand around my throat and he was just trying to entice me to, to fight back and trying to re because then, you know, there's always a way they'll twist it and I'd be the one that would get the blame and whatnot. And he had all of his lads with him and no one was there with me that day, so that was obviously when they strike because they're cowards. Um yeah, that, that day was, was, was quite intense. Whenever I'm asked the question, um, how exactly did it make me feel, um, it's almost impossible to ask, but I've sort of come up with a bit of an analogy lately. Um, the film Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, um, where obviously they're sort of regular sized children and then they get shrunk down into, I think they're about probably a centimetre big, um, because that scene where they're in the garden and they're walking through the grass and it seems like they're in a forest because the two inches of grass is absolutely mammoth to them. Well, I kind of relate it to that in the sense of um, you can be yourself, completely yourself when you're in your own environment and then you, you put, you're put in a situation where you feel absolutely minute um, and then even the smallest of things becomes such massive obstacles that you just can't seem to get over because you feel you made to feel so worthless and I can remember there's the scene in the film where uh, the father comes home and he's shouting out to the children and they can hear him um, but it's quite fragmented and muffled and you sort of know that no matter how much you try to say something or shout back he would never hear them and so it's, it kind of kind of felt like that and you sort of start to feel so lonely and isolated and like you don't have a voice at all and no matter what you say no one will hear you. Um, I hope that kind of makes sense. <laughs> That's kind of the only way I can really describe how it made me feel. How did I get over it? Um, not entirely certain I'll ever get over it really sometimes. You know I think it it played a big impact on my nerves. Um, I become even more shy, even more sort of introvert, and I'm only recently actually getting getting out of that, which is great. And I guess I finally sort of plucked up the sense to just tell someone about it. Um, I started to speak to my friends, 
probably not as in-depth as I should have, but even just speaking to them a little bit kind of took the weight of the world off my shoulders, so it felt. And I also started to find confidence in something that I was good at, so which was my art, and it was generally the only thing I, I would ever be sort of verbally told, wow Nathan you're amazing at this, and so that is where my confidence came from. If I was to give someone advice going through it, um, I would say definitely don't suffer in silence, speak to someone as soon as I did, it felt so much better. There are so many amazing charities out there that are there to help you and want to help you. Um, I'll put some links to some underneath the video, um, there's Bullies Out, there's the Diana Award. So to end this on a bit of a positive note, um, i just like to say that the things that I was bullied for, and I quite often hear this, this, the same situation, are the things that I love most about myself now. I absolutely love being a ginger, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I've got a hat on today because my hair is an absolute mess. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love being ginger. I'm proud to be out and openly gay. I've never had an issue with it since since then. Um, I have amazing family and friends that are so supportive of everything that I do. And I'm extremely proud that I am that creative person, that sort of oddball that thinks outside the box and I've managed to make an entire professional creative career from it so and I'm, I, it's often the same situations where people are bullied for the things that make them different the things that actually make them stand out and why do we all want to be why would we all want to be the same in this world why can't we have those unique talents and just shine like the people we're meant to I'm now also an ambassador for the anti-bullying charity Bullies Out and for Pride Cymru as well, so I get to go on stage and hopefully speak as someone that's gone through it and come through the other end and be a, hopefully a positive role model to show that you can get through it, you can be successful and you can do something with your life. You're not as worthless as these people like to make you think you are. So finally, just for anyone going through it, please just stay strong, confide in those that love you most, cry when you need to cry, remember you are amazing, everyone is in their own way, and most of all, just know that it does and it will get better. Thank you.